the fabulously funny Finn again, 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 And who are the fabulously funny Finn again, 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 I knew them very well. Hit it! Extra! Extra! Hey, look at the headlines! Historical news is being made! Extra! Extra! They're drawing a red line around the biggest scoop of the decade! A barrel of charms! A fabulous thrill! We're the biggest little headlines in Bonneville! Presenting in Poison! Those one foot three bundles of dynamite! The funny Finnegan! Honey, my heart will pine for you when the toil of the day is through. Every little star blinking from above will be shining just for you. My little honey, the breeze will sigh for you. Birds be singing for you too. I will hum a bumble tune every morning, night and noon. Oh, my honey, I will long for you. Yeah, we were in vaudeville together. You had a brother? That's like a hundred years old. Yeah. H how old are you? Old. Oh, okay. I've been around the block, let's just say. Oh. People were dan singing and dancing and tell jokes on stage. That's what we do. We were so famous. But hold up the truck for a second. You have a brother? Yeah, it's, it's, it's my twin. You have a twin well, brother? Well, actually, no, I have triplets. Hubert okay. stayed home. To run the farm. I'm so confused. I know what? every loop of yarn on your head, and you're telling me you're a triplet, and I didn't know that? Uh, didn't I tell you this? No, you Look, didn't. There's some pictures of my family right there. I know. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, there's there's uh, there's my homestead. See the house? It's the old so house. So beautiful. Look yes. at this. And, but, uh, seriously, I didn't know you were a big star. I was on the big stage until that low-down, dirty scum bucket Ruined my what? chance at everything. Albert, what? who are you speaking of? That that person I was using as my partner, my my brother Elwood. They call him Woody. That guy. Woody. Yeah. Okay. The so, one with the brown hair. Well, right. Red, dark but brown what? hair. Okay. But and a mean disposition. He stole my best joke. He did. My bestest joke sold it oh. to Hollywood. Didn't I tell you this story? You're, no, you didn't no, tell me this. No, did You're, I tell them? No. Okay, I. You seem very upset about this. Of though. course, he's a low-down chicken-livered scum, slippery, okay. Okay. slimy okay. toad of a bottom of a toilet. Okay, okay, Albert, you need to calm down. Dirty nerd. L Albert, what? that's not very kind. That was a long time ago. Long. So. But I haven't talked to him since. You haven't forgiven him? No! Ha! 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 Forgive? Forgive that bum for what he did to me? Albert, Albert. I was out on the street thanks to that little no good chicken nugget. Okay, of... Albert, I need you to calm down. Okay, listen, listen. I'm going to remind you of a couple things. Okay, Albert. 
Listen, I'm do you remember when you were cleaning, I think, and the, um, the, the book fell on James's face by accident? I might have. Um, and do you Didn't remember I... how he forgave you? Uh, yeah. Okay, what about the no. couch down St. Vincent's and the chocolate Didn't and... Didn't you have fun doing that? Uh, well... You forgave me for that. But this is totally different. It is not This different. guy did a bad thing to me, and I am not going to forgive him. Albert, what? it's really important that you understand one of the teachings of Jesus. Remember, oh. a parable is a story that teaches us a lesson. Oh, does he have one about forgiveness? He does, yes. Oh, but he didn't know my brother. No, but I think if we listen to this parable, Albert... You'll really understand the importance of you also being Do forgiven. I have to? Peter came to Jesus and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? And Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him, and as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and his children and all his possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay back everything. And out of pity for him, the lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him in prison until he had paid the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave! I forgave all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have mercy on your fellow slave as I have had mercy on you? And in his anger his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. So, what do you think of the parable? Well, uh, uh, it's tough to forgive. But I still don't want it to forgive the guy. But Father Larry forgave you. Oh, for all the mess? And oh. James forgave you. Yeah. And I have forgiven but you. The list is getting longer, isn't it? So you have to forget. You have to learn to forgive. Uh, and but, forgive you, your brother. but you don't know the whole story of what happened when we were singing and dancing on the stage. We were really good friends, you know. You were? We were. We had we had um, lots of songs and dances, and we worked together. And, um, you know, Elwood didn't like to do it at first when I started this. Woody? Yeah, Woody. Sorry, I call him Elwood. Yeah. He didn't like doing this at first. I had to talk him into it, but it was a long time ago in the, like, the vaudeville time. Should I tell you about it? It was a time of wild stunts and carefree living. You should have seen the things people used to do. They used to swallow goldfish. They used to climb telephone poles and sit on them. It was crazy. Watch, just watch. We were on the road most of the time, going from town to town, telling our silly jokes and dancing for the people. We took buses and trains shuffling from one theater to the next. We covered the eastern seaboard from Canada to the United States. Anywhere they wanted us singing and dancing and telling joke kind of act.
vaudeville had its comedy acts too. We knew all of them and we worked with the best of them that ended up becoming big stars. There was Jack Benny and Eddie Cantor, Bob Hope and Milton Berle, Fanny Bryce. Why did I have to put on my new dress, Daddy? Edgar Bergen and my friend Charlie McCarthy. Are you eating a tomato or is that your nose? George Burns and Gracie Allen. And oh, do you remember, uh, what was that one called? Her name was uh, Trixie Forganza. Remember her? She was like this generously larger woman who played the bass fiddle. Elwood and I would sit backstage just stunned. A little girl named Lulu went down to Honolulu to learn to do the hula, hula hoo. But one day little Lula broke her hula hula when she fell upon her wicky wacky woo. Now this little girl named Lulu who went to Honolulu to learn to do the hula hula hoo. No more to do the hula. Poor little Lula. Poor a hula hula is all black and blue la. Rig it up a dig it up. And then there was little baby Rose Marie, who really wasn't a baby. Oh, oh, I gotta tell you, the music, oh boy, it was so... It was so amazing, it was so much fun, I loved it. It was the jazz age full of instruments and saxophones and drums and, and wild rhythms and Louis Armstrong and everybody got up to dance to it. There was dances called the Charleston and the Texas Tommy and the Big Apple and the Foxtrot and the Little Peach and Truckin'. Boy, was it crazy. We went to all the popular parties and danced till we had no more feet left. It was a wild time, crazy and free. Little did anybody know, the fun was about to end. Soon everybody was out of work, and nobody wanted to come to the show to see a bunch of singing and dancing, um, um, well, us. In fact, everybody got really serious, and no one thought it was right to laugh when people had so much troubles. But I love that time in my life. But I have to admit to you, Shannon, something was missing. But there was Elwood, my brother. We were pals, we were friends. We stayed most of the time together and we got along just great. But he was another story. He wasn't happy about all the trips and traveling around the country. He got kind of tired of it. He wasn't good at tap dancing like me or telling jokes. Oh, he was the worst at that. In fact, his jokes were awful. I had to coach him every step of the way. We lived in a service cupboard on top of a suburban train station somewhere in Hicksville. Oh, you beautiful doll, you great big beautiful doll. Oh, the 1020 to Boston is here. Hmm. You know, Woody, I was thinking about it, but I think we should get going, get on the road again. Quiet, Albert. Mm. I'm listening to Jack Benny. What's that Benny guy got that I don't? Oh. Better jokes. <laughs> Benny is so funny. <laughs> I love Jack Benny. <laughs> you know... Benny only hit it big when he got to Hollywood. You think we should do that too? Because my stomach's growling and I have no more knishes left. You ate the rest of them. Hollywood? What are you talking about? What? 
I think we should go. Attention, attention. Leaving our truck five is the Canadian journey to Victoria, Vancouver, Winnipeg, and Tuck, Tuck, Tuck. We don't have any more money left. My stomach is sore. Look, we're living on top of a train station. We can go anytime we want to go. But Albert, I don't want to. Oh, come on, give it a try. We could be famous stars, you know. Like Jack Benny and Bob Hope, they all went to Hollywood. Why don't us? Eh, I'm hungry. We can't eat our pet. Oh, what do you think, Elwood? You think we should go? <laughs> oh, why not? Come on, give it a try. I want to go home. Oh, you say that all the time, but can't you imagine our name up in lights? Albert and brother. Okay, okay, okay. Brother and Albert, whatever way you want it. But we'll be there with all the big stars like Garbo and Gable and uh, Harlow and Albert and Elwood. Can't you hear it? Uh, I, I, uh, what's that? A picture, a picture. I'm Hollywood leaving in one and a half minutes. <gasps> Two minutes to the train for Hollywood. We gotta go. We gotta go. Pack your stuff. Come on, trust me. You're with me, your brother. I will never let you down. Oh, okay. All right, let's try it. I'm so hungry. Hurry up, hurry up. There it goes. Let's, let's go, go, let's, let's go. go. It's, it's getting, getting late. late. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Who's got suitcase? You got suitcase. No, you got a suitcase. No, you got suitcase. I got a suitcase. I got suitcase. We, we ain't going go nowhere. Who's got the money? You got the money. No, you got the money. No, you got the money. I got the money. I got the money. We, we ain't, ain't going nowhere. nowhere. I've got the address. No. Directions. No. Shave game, tambourine, gasoline. No, no, no. Detox. No. no. We're going to stay right at home. Who's got the joke book? You got the joke book. No, you got the joke book. No, you got the joke book. I got the joke book. I got the joke book. We ain't going nowhere. Let's go. Let's go. It's getting late. Come on, Albert. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Who's got the roadmap? You got the roadmap. No, you got the roadmap. No, you got the roadmap. I got the roadmap. I got the roadmap. We, we ain't going nowhere. Who put the cat out? You put the cat out. No, you put the cat out. No, you put the cat out. I put the cat out. I put the cat out. We ain't going nowhere. nowhere. Have you got the address? No. Directions? No. Shaving juice, hammer, gasoline, no. clean dogs, no. toothpaste. No. We're, We're going to stay right at home. Who locked the house up? You locked the house up. No, you locked the house up. No, you locked the house up. I locked the house up. I locked the house up. We ain't going nowhere. Let's go, let's go, go, it's getting, getting late. late. Uh, wait, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait! Wait! Who's got the baby? What baby? You got the baby. No, you got the baby. I got the baby. I got the baby. We, we ain't go nowhere. Who turned the, the gas off? No, you, you turned the gas off. off. I turned the gas off. We ain't go nowhere. Ain't got the suitcase. Ain't got the money. Ain't got the roadmap. Ain't got the baby. Ain't got the address. Ain't got directions. We ain't going nowhere. Okay, we left the train station, ran all the way up, what's the street in Hollywood where all the producers live? Well, whatever that's called, we went up and saw this big building. Ooh, it was so big. Really? We oh, were wow. faced with this. Big. So we took the elevator all the way up to the top floor. Okay. To find a Hollywood producer that would take us from nothing to stardom. Oh, and did you find someone? Yes. Oh. And they shut the door on us. They did? And then I went to the next one. And they said, eh, eh. So. Yes. 
We found a producer, I forget her name, Miss Dolores somebody, and she was eating a tuna fish sandwich and wouldn't let us in. So we snuck in when they opened the door, like the custodian came okay. in and we were snuck right in and we started to do our act right, right on the desk. They sang and danced. We um, we told all our jokes. I did my belly drama like, I can't pay the rent. I can't pay the rent. You know that act? Yeah. We did that. We did slowly I turn. We threw a pie in the air and everything. Nothing. Nothing made her laugh, smile. She kept talking on the phone. It was terrible. So where did Woody get his break then? Well, then. Well, you'll never guess it. What? She called security to get us out. Oh. And we were running out the door and Woody turned around. And did what? You won't believe this. What? Told a joke. And not only did he tell a joke, he told it in perfect timing, said the right words and everything, that she spit that tuna fish sandwich right out of her mouth, no. started to laugh, no. hit the floor laughing, turned around and offered him a big Hollywood contract. Ten wow. years in Hollywood with all the big stars, A-list celebrity. Oh my goodness. And me? What did you get? She called security. Oh, right. A guy right. named Bob threw me out. A new star is born. Alwyn P. Finnegan again joined the ranks of Hollywood's elite. A special lunch with all the MGM stars. Mr. Jimmy Durante. Oh, yes. Mr. Clark Gable. Mr. Alwyn P. Finnegan again. Miss Ava Gardner. Miss Judy Garland. Yes. The, he was in a lot of movies. He was? He was. Which uh, movies? ones you saw. Here, let's watch them. See? You ever see these? I have! I've oh. seen these ones. Yeah, yes. did you see that one? Yeah, well, that's great. I can while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. With my thoughts, I be thinking I could be another Lincoln if I only had a brain. Did it fall out? No? Cut? Okay. Terribly uncomfortable. Can't you get down? Red, 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 you go. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a hoot. But would you settle for a chicken joke? No? Okay. Fantastic. Can you believe he was in Gone with the Wind? I can't believe it. He is famous, you're right. Yeah, amazing. that's pretty impressive. Okay. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. As for me, I tried to get the act started again with a new partner. I had to find some work after that and all I could find was a chowder shop down at the docks called the Holy Mackerel. And Holy Mackerel was it hard to do. Hey shrimp! You, you talking to me or the things in your chowder? Talking to you, tuna breath! What is this slop? Uh, well that's the famous Albert Sardine Chowder! Made fresh today, or a couple weeks ago. Okay, so then what happened? Well, I ended up here, 
at St. Mary's and I never ever talk to him again. Right. You know the guy he gets to hang out with Elmo at his parties. Right. And hangs out with Miss at Miss Piggy's pen. And okay. does everything in Beverly Hills. He's a big right. star, you know. I, he was on The Wizard of Oz, you know. He's oh, a really? big, big, yeah, you saw. And it's a big deal. So I get that. Uh, I, I, I can see why you'd be sad. I am. But what about all the blessings in your life? What about blessings. all the things that you have now? I just, I, I have a warm place to live. Yes. I have like, um, um, like food to eat, like yes. sardines. Father Larry lets me work here. Yes. I can be a kindness campaigner for all the people out in the parishioners. Yeah. I can wipe the pews with my hair. Lots yes. of different crazy things. And you bring a yeah. lot of joy to people I here, do. Albert. I met you a do. lot of friends. Yes. But listen, and, uh, I'll really, tell you something. Well, None of that would happen if you, or would have happened, sorry, if you and Woody didn't have the disagreement and he went off. <laughs> You wouldn't have the friends, what? the place you have to live, the working here, what? all that stuff uh, if it wasn't for what happened. You mean if he didn't leave me, I wouldn't have been here. I would have been, I don't know where I would have been. That's exactly right. Still cooking chowder with my, ugh. Holy mackerel. Ugh. That's all I got to say. Holy mackerel. Holy so, Jesus. He brought me here, I think. Jesus That's, did. Mm. And sometimes we don't understand circumstances no. in the moment, but God always has a plan for us. You know that? He had a plan for me? He does have a oh. plan for you. And Wait. sometimes it's the these uh, things that can hurt us or we're rejected like with Woody. And I recommend that maybe, just maybe you should reach out and call him. Call that bum? Hey, uh, Albert. I mean, that nice guy who did me a big favor now that He's I know it. Yes. I know. Why don't you give him a call and oh, just reach out? I don't know out. what to say to him. I don't know what would be the right thing. Um, uh, hello, Woody. It's me, yeah. your brother, who you left on the side of the road and you became well, a Hollywood star without me. Do I say maybe that? not all that no? stuff, but hey, Woody, it's your brother, Albert. It's been a long time. Can we talk? Can you call him for me? No. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, I, I, uh, this is so hard. It is hard. Hard to it forgive hard. some low down, dirty, <laughs> nice brother of mine. Yes. Okay. Okay, go, go. Oh, I'm going to say a prayer for you, okay? I you have go. his number. He okay. gave it to me once, but I don't know if he still is at the same time. Okay, go. Okay. Before you lose the courage, okay. go okay. call okay. him. Okay, okay. okay. I'm well, praying for you. Okay. okay. Oh, Albert. Shannon! What? You'll never guess! What? I called my brother! You did? I talked to him for a few minutes. And how did it go? He's having a lot of fun with his new Good. friends. Good. Um, and um, and he 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 loved to hear from me. Good. And uh, I great to hear his voice. I really I that. bet! Oh I'm so happy for this you. This is so neat. I I mean, but um, I told him I forgave him. Now do you think I'd ever get to meet him? Yeah, well, that's what I have to tell you about. Uh, I told him that I worked at a cathedral and I was a big famous singer in the choir. And what? so he's going to come and hop the next bus and he's coming here next week. Next week? Yes, he said, I told him I'm taking lessons, singing lessons from the famous Shanalina Bark Solo. And she's the most famous singer teacher in the world. And I've got a special job at church and he's coming to see what I do. Ah! Well, yeah. It's not true, Albert. But, you know, I'll help you to learn to sing. Okay. But not by next week? Next week. Uh-oh. Well, to be continued. Bum, 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 bum. Don't be like that.